Hi, this is Anne with My Service Depot. In this video, we're going to see how we can use Dropbox to integrate with Smart Service so that we can view correspondence such as forms, pictures, and other attachments inside of iFleet. To start, we're going to either open up or create a Dropbox account. You'll want to install this account on the server computer as well so that we have a file path. Once we have our account created, we're going to then move our existing image directory or create, if it's the first time we're installing Smart Service, our image directory inside of Dropbox. I'm going to go ahead and move my existing account into my Dropbox folder. So I'm going to navigate by browsing for my existing image directory. Mine is located on the server computer. I'm just gonna click and drag and drop that into my new Dropbox account. In a matter of minutes, all of those images and documents will be uploaded and now they'll be available from within Dropbox. Next, we'll want to go into Smart Service and associate this account with Smart Service. Under Setup, we'll have a path for our image directory. That's the folder we just moved. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate to this new location. Because we installed it on the server computer, it will have a Dropbox folder as well. We can, of course, also access these through the internet. So we'll set that up for our full image directory path. We'll click Home to Save. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to set this up over in iFleet. So inside of iFleet, I'm going to tap the three bars at the top right. You can also swipe left on an iPad. This is going to be our iFleet dashboard. Under our settings, you'll now notice a new option. This one will be for our Dropbox integration. So I'm going to click Dropbox Settings. And next we'll see where we can link to Dropbox. So right now we're not linked. I'm going to click the blue link button and this will ask me to enter the username and password for that Dropbox account. You'll want to set this up on each device so that you don't have to provide the username and password to your actual employees. We don't necessarily need to install the application on the device because again, that would give them access to our image directory. We'll go ahead and select allow that's going to allow that integration between the iFleet application and the Dropbox account. Next, we're going to go back into settings. From here, we'll select the folder that we created or that image directory that we moved into Dropbox. So again, we'll select Dropbox settings. This time I'm going to tap the I on the far right next to folder. And then I'm going to tap Dropbox root folder. This will show me all of the available folders in my Dropbox account. If it's a new account, you may only have the image directory. Otherwise, you may have multiple folders to select from. We'll go ahead and select the appropriate image directory. Then I can hit back and done. And I now have access from inside of my jobs to my image directory. So let's go ahead and select a job here. Once integrated, you'll notice another new option view Dropbox files. I can view either the customer level files or the job level files. Let's go ahead and take a look at the job files. We'll select one of my PDFs and we'll see that we can now view a previous proposal that we created from iFleet. We have the customer's information, their signature, even their job items and totals. For more tips and tricks, follow us at smartservice.com.